count, uh, county. Uh, we're paying out huge uh, uh, lawsuits to, to uh, family members that most people uh, don't even know about, don't hear about, because they, they sign on disclosures and hush money and, and, and they go away. Uh, we, once again, need to bring, bring the training to, to our uh, medical people in the jail, to our, to our counselors, and to our, our corrections officers. Uh, they need to be training. And we're, we're putting money in $258 million for, for a brand new jail. Uh, or a jail add-on uh, or a renovation, but it's like putting lipstick on a pig. If we're not going along with the training, nothing is going to change. A new building is not going to change uh, people from committing suicide, people being left on the floor to die from misdemeanors, uh, uh, attacks in our jail. This is, this is, all comes with training uh, and, and like I said, I'm going to sound like a broken record, but that's what has to be done. Uh, when, when we did that in Oakland County, it, it even the constitutional training, it has to be done so that, that our deputies and our corrections officers know their job, and we, we hold them to the fire and the accountability. Uh, I ran a, you know, I was deputy commander of patrol services, the third largest road patrol in, in the state of Michigan. I, I almost a thousand deputies, 13 substations, aviation, uh, patrol, uh, patrol services, aviation, uh, traffic, alcohol enforcement, our reserve unit, our marine division. So these are all people. Uh, that I've done. My budget was, I mean, we have five substations here. My, my, my budget was bigger than, than the Macomb County Sheriff's Office. So I'm prepared. Uh, a lot of people say I want to be sheriff. I want to be an astronaut when I was a kid. I'm not prepared. <laughs> you have to be trained. You have to have a supervision skill. Yeah. I've been through Northwestern uh, School of Staff and Command, Drug Unit Commander School, at, at, in Quantico at the FBI, at, at Quantico for the DEA. Uh, I've, I've been there, I've done it, and I can bring my experience right. here from Macomb County. Do you need the question? Yes. Uh, Mr. Kavasinski? Yes. Okay, good to meet you. Mr. Kavasinski, give an example of a current issue facing the Macomb County Sheriff's Office that citizens may not be aware of. And what is your plan to address that? Okay. So I think one of the issues, um, so I live in Warren. It's the largest city in Macomb County. I, I rarely see a deputy sheriff's car in Warren. I rarely see them patrol on 8 Mile Road. I rarely see them on the trunk lines. And my understanding of the sheriff's department is they are supposed to patrol on the state routeways and also on the trunk lines. Um, and also on Mound Road. Mound Road is a county road. I rarely see road patrols in any of the communities that have a police department, and that's very important to have your sheriffs in those communities that still have a police department. And people would say, well, why? Aren't you, or they're already providing law enforcement services. <clears throat> Not exactly. The police department, municipal police departments, answer to the government city administration, the mayor. The sheriff answers to all of you. The sheriff is your protection against the mayor, the city administration, and the city law enforcement that may or may not be doing something wrong. That's who you should be able to rely on. The sheriff is your intermediary with between the municipal police department and the city government. If they're doing something wrong, you should be able to reach out to the sheriff and say, hey, something's wrong here. Now, I know about this personally because I had to do this with the election fraud that took place in the city of Warren. Police department didn't want to touch it. The courts didn't want to touch it. I had to go to the sheriff's department. You know what they did? Slap on the wrist. Nothing to see here. We'll write a little stern letter. Don't do this again or we'll, we'll do something bigger next time. What, write another stern letter? No. The sheriff has to look out for you, and they need to be in those communities where they're not in right now that have a municipal city the police department. That needs to happen. Thank you. So a real big problem in the Macomb County Sheriff's Department right now that most people probably don't realize is that we have a hiring and retention problem. People come to the Sheriff's Department. They get their training there, and they leave. They go to local police departments that pay a lot more money to them. Um, and it's, it's bad on several reasons, because when the place is not staffed, people get ordered over. That means that when at the end of their shift, they get told, you cannot go home. You're staying for another eight hours. When that happens to you day after day, 
it wears you down. It makes you tired. These people that are working in the jail, uh, they're tired. They're falling asleep sitting there. Uh, they do their rounds, but they're half asleep when they need to be really uh, paying attention to what's going on so they don't get hurt, so they can see problems, what's going on, so that other people don't get hurt. Um, and, and they can answer problems. Yeah, we get things called kites in the McClellan County Jail. A kite is a piece of paper that an inmate will write a note on, and they hand it to the deputy when he does a round in the jail. <laughs> then he, the deputy comes back, he reads it, and he reacts to it. Whether it's, I need toilet paper, or John over in cell six wants to kill Tom and eight. Um, and the person that's uh, doing these rounds and working double shifts, they may be looking at this and saying, this is a, you know, who cares? I'm tired. Uh, I'm not dealing with this right now. So it's a real problem. Uh, and the, the retention of people is a big problem. The Macomb County Sheriff's Department went for eight years without a pay raise. They did not get a contract under Mark Apple for eight years. Well, everyone else in the cities were getting pay raises. So what that equals out to is the sheriff department's pay is here, while everyone else's pay is up here. That's a big problem because when you get in, you start looking at everybody else's pay, and they're not getting ordered over, and you say, that's it, we gotta leave. So maybe these guys need to get a little pay raise and start catching up to where everybody's at so we can retain the best and brightest. Thank you.